Hello and welcome to The Real Rundown. Now, in case you've been hiding under a rock for the last few weeks, you'll know that this weekend marks the end of the World Cup. And yeah, England haven't performed quite as well as we hoped, but that doesn't mean we can't blooming well celebrate. So, we've been working with our friends at top10films.co.uk to pull together our top five football films to get you out of your down of the dump state and rejoicing once again about the beautiful game. The first film in our top five sees director Stephen Chow introduce us to Shaolin Soccer, a brand of the game that mixes martial arts with superhuman agility to give us a unique but exhilarating depiction of the sport. There's a kinetic energy to the football sequences in this comic fantasy about a monk and his brothers who enter a football competition in the hope they can introduce Shaolin techniques to the masses. This is all aided by the film's exciting mixture of fast-paced, high-flying acrobatics and football skill alongside Chow's frenetic camera work. Next up, it's the film where the footballers can't act and the actors certainly can't play, but what a fun ride it is anyway. John Huston's Escape to Victory tells the story of a group of allied prisoners of war who plot to flee their captors during an exhibition football match between themselves and a German team. This silly setup is made all the more exciting by the all-star cast who lend weight to the drama while the professional footballers, including Pele, provide authenticity to the game sequences. At three, we take a look at the football manager in Tom Hooper's The Damned United. Michael Sheen, an actor adept at capturing the nuances of real life figures, this time brings former Nottingham Forest manager Brian Clough to life for his ill-fated 44 days in charge of Leeds. The Damned United actually focuses on failure, which immediately sets it apart from the other sports movies that tend to build predictably towards success. Sheen's strong performance as the larger-than-life Brian Clough is great to see, but the film's standout feature is its celebration of football rivalry, one of the reasons why we love this game so much. The Damned United was about football managers. Looking for Eric at number two on our list is definitely about fussy fans. A down-on-his-luck football fanatic starts seeing visions of his hero Eric Cantona, who begins to give him advice about his life. The film is a bittersweet celebration of our football heroes and why they play such a massive role in our lives. Eric Cantona appeals as himself and is great as the philosophical mentor, while the film has a delightful balance of drama and humour. Our number one pick sees timid, football-shy 15-year-old Billy Casper unable to play the I've forgotten my kit, sir, excuse, and forced to go in goal during a P lesson with the perennially angry Mr Sugden. A film with a great football scene rather than a great football film, Kez still has to be in first place. It's a timeless, working-class classic about alienation, growing up and companionship, all captured so beautifully in its football sequence. There's a love of the game that shines through Brian Glover's caustic teacher, while his heavy-handed approach and casual, dismissive put-downs prove to be infinitely rewatchable and perversely funny. That's The Real Rundown. We hope you enjoyed our flurry of football films and huge thanks to top10films.co.uk for all their football film knowledge and there's more to come from us. So make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel, follow us on Twitter, at The Real Film Show. Check out our brand new blog, thereeldealonfilm.com. Thanks for watching and bye for now.